So many great things to come out of Rome. Let's just think of it. You got the Vatican, the Colosseum, Angels and Demons with Tom Hanks and Ewan McGregor, the Pantheon, the Catacombs, and Russell Crowe and the Gladiator. But when I think of Rome, I think of pasta, and Rome's most famous pasta is the carbonara. And it's so simple. It has five ingredients, but with the right technique, this pasta has emperor status. So without further ado, I give to you Pappardelle Carbonara. Put on your comfy pants, because it's cold and it's cheat day. Hit it! Okay, let's start with the sauce. The sauce is super simple because it's pasta water, egg yolk, and Parmesan cheese. Four nice egg yolks. So crack it, I leave it open like there's two little cups, and then I just play with it until the white falls, and then you just want the creamy yolk for the sauce. Okay, a few more to go. Okay, part one is finished. So to the egg, you want to add the Parmesan cheese. This pasta is so simple, but it's all about the technique. So step one is lots of Parmesan cheese, and you want to grate it fresh. You want it nice and fresh, and mix it with the egg yolks. When it's cooked with the pasta water and the fat from the pancetta, it's super delicious. Okay, that's perfect. So. Carbonara is classically made with guanciale, and guanciale is the pork cheek, so there's a lot of fat in there. If you can't find guanciale, your next best friend is pancetta. This stuff is so good. It's not smoked, it's salt cured, and there's tons of fat in it, and that's what you want. When you render it down, you need the fat for the sauce. So this is how I render it down. Just get it into a pan, Turn the pan on when it's cold. You want to render it slowly, and when you see the fat, just drain the fat off and keep the pancetta cooking till it's nice and crispy and you have a lot of fat for the sauce. Okay, so there's another key ingredient to this pasta, and it's black peppercorns. But here's the deal. You want to toast the peppercorns fresh. It's going to release a ton of aroma. It smells so good. And technically, as soon as pepper is cracked, it's rancid. So you don't want to use pre-cracked pepper. You want to do it yourself. So nice and toasted. Get it into a mortar and pestle or a spice grinder and really beat it up. You want it half coarse, half chunky, half smooth. All right, this is perfect. This is what you want the fresh toasted pepper to look like. So there's some big chunks, there's some little chunks, and it's really, really delicious. Fresh toasted pepper is a game changer. <coughs> wow. <laughs> Woo! Okay, let's cook some pasta. Man, I love pepper. What in the world? Okay, so the technique continues with this simple pasta. So here's the deal. When you're gonna cook the pasta, instead of cooking it in a lot of water, cook it in a shallow pot of water. You know why? There's a lot of starch in that pasta and you want the water really starchy. So dump the pasta in, cook it really shallow, and you'll get really thick water and that's gonna help give the pasta a lot of texture. Okay, look at this. For the pancetta, this is great. It's gotten really nice and crispy. And all that fat, you want that fat for the sauce. It's gonna give it a ton of flavor. And because there's fresh black pepper in there, this is where you're gonna get that salty pot front. So get all the pancetta in there and separate the pancetta from the fat. Okay, this is where the sauce part of the dish gets super, super fun. That is really warm. So there's a little bit of water left in here. And this is what I like to do. So it's kind of cooked hollandaise style, which is really crazy. So you want a heat proof bowl with the eggs and the Parmesan in it. Give it a little whisk and then take some of that starchy water and put it in with the eggs and the Parmesan. Not a lot, you just want to like a little touch of it and start to whisk it around and start to cook it. And it's gonna thicken like a hollandaise. And once it's nice and thick, you can put in the pancetta fat. And that's when you start building some crazy flavor and a crazy texture for the sauce. This is great. Pasta's cooking, pancetta's crispy, amazing. Okay, so this is perfect. When the egg yolks get really nice and thick like that with the cheese, it's time to add a bit of the fat. So when you add the fat, like a hollandaise, you wanna go slow. So just kind of pour it in as you whisk it. You wanna go just a little bit at a time. Let the egg yolks soak up all that fat and you want it to stay really nice and thick. So good. 
gonna add so much flavor. And then if you think it's getting too thick, you can always just take a little tiny bit of the pasta water, which is really nice and starchy, and it'll kind of loosen it up a bit, and then you can add a lot more fat. And it's so good, the flavor of the pancetta is like the most gnarly bacon that you've ever had, but it's not smoked and it's really nice and salty. So just keep whisking in fat. If it gets too thick, a little bit of pasta water. Dude, this pasta is epic. All right, so once all the fat's in there, look at the texture of that sauce. It's so good and it's sticky from the cheese, but it's full of fat. It's so delicious and salty. Okay, you can turn it off, drain the pasta, put the pasta into the sauce. I know it's crazy, it's five ingredients, but with the right technique, it's so good. Okay, so when the pasta is drained off, you can put in, put in the pappardelle or you can use spaghetti if you want, and then lots of the crispy pancetta. Yeah, don't be shy on that. And then here is the best part. The toasted, fresh ground black pepper that gives the sauce balance, it gives it texture, and then it gives it a little bit of heat. Okay, and then just fold it all together. <laughs> this is making me smile. All right, this is the great thing about a pasta. It should be just enough sauce to coat the noodle and look at how sticky the pappardelle is. It's just enough sauce to cling on to it. There's also salt from the pancetta and then it's just hit with all the fresh toasted black pepper flakes. That is proper carbonara. All right, let's plate it. All right, the great thing about this dish is you wanna plate it while it's hot and you just want mounds of that beautiful pasta. And I really like the pappardelle. Classically, it's done with spaghetti, but I like the thickness of the pappardelle. It just really clings on to the sauce and it's so delicious. And then lots of the pancetta on top. It's so good, it's so sticky, it's salty, it's crunchy. It's, it's the perfect pasta, it's the perfect balance. Okay, just to finish it, I love to do just some toasted black pepper. It's all about the black pepper and the salt and a lot of Parmesan cheese. On a rainy day, that's gonna warm the soul, warm the body and warm the lips with toasted fresh black pepper and the crispy pancetta. I love that noodle. It's simple ingredients, but with a good technique, it's such a stunning dish to look at. That makes me very happy. Carbonara with pappardelle, game changer.